Ngayon mga kapatid, tutunghayan natin at pag-usapan natin itong kumbento ng mga madre. Isa sa mga kaso ni Father Sikia. Ang ganda talaga ng mga, mga points ni Father Sikia dito. So ano ba yung infestation, yung lugar po na uh, meron mga infested uh, na mga may nananahan ng mga espiritu, na mga gala ng mga espiritu po. Hindi po yun espiritu ng mga tao. A place, a novitiate house for a particular religious congregation located in the province in the north, north in Manila. Uh, Luzon, no? This religious community had 23 novices and three professed sisters who were in charge. No, meron na silang tatlong profess, no? Ito bang professed ay solemn, may solemn na na pag, uh, solemn na yung, nang tawag nito? yung vow nila no the final vow of professed sisters that law in the huge and beautiful convent where young novices were being formed there started occurring a lot of preternatural manifestation hindi basta-basta yung mga manifestation just imagine ha kumbento po ito at ito ay yung ito ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon bakit naging infested yung religious na kumbento. Bakit? <laughs> Bakit naging infested? Anong dahilan? So, ito po yung i-represent ko sa inyo ngayon um, sa mga araw na ito. Ito po yung pagstudyhan natin. It is all about infestation. At abangan nyo po yung isa sa mga kaso ni Father Sikia, yung satanism and witchcraft. Isishare ko po din sa inyo. Ayan, ganda. Excited ako araw-araw na mag-share sa inyo, mga kapatid. Okay, patuloy tayo, mga kapatid. So, naka-experience na sila sa mga iba't ibang uh, preternatural manifestations. So, mga, kamangha, mga kamamangha mangha, na mga pangyayari sa loob ng kumbento po. Okay? When the sisters sought help from the office of Father Sikea, Amoe, uh, As Diocese of Manila Office of Exorcism, AMOE, acronym nila, they reported the following early manifestations. Objects were seen to move by themselves. Just imagine, gagalaw yung mga object sa loob ng kumbento nila. So, grabe yung takot, mga kapatid, ng mga novices at mga profes, ng mga madre. Objects suddenly disappeared and were never found. So, bigla lang mawala yung object. Wala namang kukuha nito. Bigla lang talagang mawala. So, kung nakaranas kayo nito, yung bahay mo, yung kwarto mo, yung office mo ay infested po. So, patuloy tayo. And reappeared later, but in other locations. So, kung mawala yung example suklay nandiyan lang yan sa yung suklay eh. mawala makikita na sa ibang lugar no hindi na sa dito di ba regular saan ba yung suklay mo na sa salamin di ba yung lotion mo sa salamin din no yung rexona mo sa salamin din di ba so pero bigla lang mawala eh. wala namang kumukuha hmm. many of the novices and even the sisters experience this phenomena And they were perplexed. Oh, so, nalilito na sila. No, bakit ba ito nangyayari? We are in a religious uh, place, religious congregation. Bakit nangyayari itong mga kababalaghan? No, parang haunted house na yung kumbento nila, mga kapatid. They seem to have no idea that demons could manipulate any material object. Since the demons were pure spirits, they had a certain power over matter. When they dug deeper to seek the cause of such disturbances, we found out that the sisters of the convent used to be a mass graveyard. And before that, tribal pagan practices had been performed in the location. Mass graveyard? Uh, parang libingan, no? Libingan pala ang kanilang kumbento. Hmm. So, isa yan sa mga uh, tinidagnan. Sa mga 
sa mga exorcist nila Father Sikira, Sikia. So, libingan pala yun, no? Ang mass graveyard, uh, graveyard is a grave containing multiple human corpuses which may or may not be identified prior to burial. The United Nations have defined a criminal mass grave as a burial site containing three or more victims of execution. So, mass uh, graveyard. Before that, tribal pagan practices has been... So, dalawa po. So, libingan pala yun. And then, pangalawa, cementerio. Pangalawa, uh, tribal pagan practices, oh, meron pala, bago ito na tayo ng kumbento, may mga tribo pala, nag-aalay sa kanilang, kinikilalang Diyos. Mm-mm. Perform pagan practices, at been performed in the location. So, yan po ang tinitingnan ng mga exorcists ng Father Sikia sa Maui. Uh, Archdiocese of Manila, Office of Exorcism. Yan ang tinitingnan na ang gulo. But the paranormal, paranormal and preternatural harassment became worse after the novices started practicing. Uh, naging worse din ito, yung paranormal and preternatural Harassment, the spiritual harassment of the unclean spirits became worse. Naging worse pa. Bakit? After the novices started practicing pranic healing. Hmm, kilala nyo ba ito? Crystal healing. Energy healing. Two different seminars given to them. Here we again see how the New Age movement has infiltrated the church itself. So, mga New Age movement po ito. Ito po ay binabasa ko lang. Ito po ay uh, aklat ni Father Jose Francisco Siquia. Ang binabasa ko lang. Two different seminars given to them. Here we are see how naging grabe pa yung preternatural harassment. The Caesars had no idea that these types of healing are not the supernatural healing that comes from God. Sino nagsabi nito? This Father Darwin's Father Francisco Jose Siquia. nauna pa sa akin na maging exorcist po. Okay? Ang ganda ng topic natin ngayon. No? Nagandahan ba kayo? Excited po ako. Ano po yung kalabasan nito? Nalitapusin natin ito. Okay? Patuloy tayo mga kapatid. They were aware that these types of healing use either psychic powers, occult powers, or a combination of both. No? So, yung healing na ginagamit nila ay psychic and occult powers or combination of both. No? Hence, these are very dangerous to the spiritual life. So, highlight ko ha. Sabi ni Father Sikia, it is very dangerous. Not only dangerous, but very dangerous mga kapatid. Prayer was never used in these seminars, but occult visualization techniques. Yung mga visualization lang. Hmm. And when the paranormal activities increase, instead of seeking help from the church, the community sought out occult practitioners and psychic mediums for discernment of what was taken, taken place as well as to help resolve the increasing preter natural disturbances. Instead, Kung may mga preternatural manifestation, instead pupunta sa simbahan, pero kung pupunta man sa simbahan, wala ding exorcist na malalapitan. Kaya nga, ang ginagawa natin sa team natin, sa office natin kapag pupunta kayo, is empowerment. Yan lang po ang maibibigay natin sa buong team natin. At pasalamat tayo sa mga kaparian na tumutulong sa atin, mailimang mga pare na tumutulong sa atin ngayon. Si Father Richard Pungasi, si Father uh, Dindo, Father um, Martin Relampagos, Father Richard uh, Pungasi, at si Father uh, Jerry B. or Milio, dahil malapit sila sa atin. Okay? Patuloy tayo mga kapatid. <clears throat> 
It was a case of ignorance, since in their province it was normal to turn to occult practitioners for aid. When these types of phenomena occurred, their ancestors had been doing this for centuries. So, mahirap po ito uh, i, ano? Mahirap po ito dahil for centuries nakatatak na po ito sa ating kultura, di ba? It did not enter their minds that since they are now Catholics, Jesus should have been their only recourse. Dahil katoliko na tapo tayo, di ba? Hindi naman tayo mga pagan. So, yung pamaraan natin, it should be in line with Jesus. True liberation and divine healing can only come from Jesus who is God. Not from preternatural world. Yung mga unclean spirits. Yung mga espiritu sa kahoy. Yung mga espiritu sa bundo. Hmm. Of the fallen angels. Who can only give temporary benefits and whose price is a right over those who make use of their services. Kapag makatanggap tayo ng healing, temporal healing lang po yun. And then ano yung consequence sa atin? babawi sila dahil naka-enjoy na tayo sa kapangyarihan nila. I would take this opportunity to quote Ivagracious Potitius Ponticus. Ivagracious Ponticus, an influential early church uh, figure within Christian monasticism. Ang sabi niya, his statement can be applied to a person who seeks assistance from occult practitioners when he is beset with the spirit world problems like for example when one is retaliated upon one elemental because he cut down a tree that it inhabited he states you should be aware of this trick hmm. at times the demons split into two groups and when you call for help against one group the other will come in disguise of angels of angels and drive away the first so that you are deceived into believing that they are truly angels. So, yan po. Mag-ingat po tayo. Tayo lang po yung pinalalaroan ng demonyo. So, dito mga kapatid, kapag may mga preternatural disturbances na spiritual harassment na sa ating pamilya, sa ating uh, paligiran, sino pupunta natin? Usually, pupunta tayo sa albularyo, di ba? Returning to our case, spiritists therefore came and conducted sciences in the convent. So, nagsagawa sila ng occult practice dun sa loob ng kumbento. Some of the occult and new age practitioners recommended padugo to appease the spirits, the mutual coexistence, ang tinatawag nila dyan. Mutual coexistence yan, father eh. No, yan. to appease the spirits and use the amulets and talisman, yung mga madre. <laughs> Anting-anting, which of course only worsen the manifestation. So, paglapit nila ng mga albularyo, mga new age practitioner spiritis, mga open yung psychic ability, mga kapatid, anong nangyari? The situation became worsen. The sisters also ate food and drank drinks That had incantation para lang mawala itong mga ano, kailangan namin. Mm. Ito po, sister, hindi lang magsuot kayo ng amulets, talisman, or anting-anting. No, anong gagawin nila? Mm. Inom pa kayo. And then eat this food para maprotektahan po kayo. Yan po ang nangyayari sa mga madre natin. So, pasalamat lang tayo sa mga star senders natin sa live natin ngayon. Si Sister Shella Bito. Lagi po ito. <laughs> 200 stars. At pangalawa, si Sister Felma Reyes. 100 stars. At si Lynn Tapao. 50 stars. At si Liu Bunani Migrino. 10 stars. Salamat po. Si Erlita Gamalo. 10 stars. Si Elaine Oya Endrote. 10 stars. At dito sa kabila sa YouTube channel natin, Simplicity Ann, napadala sa atin ng 10 dollars, Hong Kong dollars. No, salamat po. As gifted uh, si Chewy uh, Tiberio, napadala sa atin ng gifted na uh, uh, sign. No, salamat po sa inyo. At si Mercy Ligan, napadala sa atin ng 100 stars. So, patuloy tayo mga kapatid ha. 
'yun ang nangyari na worse yung uh, nangyari sa kanila. The sisters also hmm, they were given to them and by occ- by the occult practitioners very sadly some of those who got sick went to more occult specialists faith healers albulaios for healing so dahil nagkasakit na sila lalong pumupunta sila sa mga albulario mga kapatid yung mga madre ha mga madre po ito mga religious congregation po okay and then patuloy tayo mga kapatid This community knew about God but not of His loving power that is always there for the asking. Their concept of God was pagan in disposition. They believe in Him but more in the abstract sense and not in a day, in any day-to-day practical manner. So, yan ang nangyari. Oh, parang pagan disposition yung mga madre. No? Mas naniwala pa sila sa mga albularyo kaysa Panginoon. The manifestation, of course, intensified and more a move to a critical level. The emotional, psychological, relational, and spiritual lives of the Caesars were all affected. There began a lack of harmony among the co- community members. So, grabe na yung pagkagulo sa loob ng kumbento. No. So, yan na, critical level na. Extreme emotional and mental changes in the novices. And the sisters came about like depression, withdrawal, paranoia, suspicion, and hostility. Grabe yung, uh, grabe yung gulo sa loob ng kumbento, di ba? Dahil una, uh, cementerio yung lugar nila. Pangalawa, may pagan tribes. Pangatlo, may new age practices. Pang-apat, pumunta sa mga albularyo. So, anong nangyari sa kanila? These occurrences were uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic of the community. Dryness and absence of consolation. Hmm. As a natural fatigue became the norm during prayer time. So, wala na silang gana sa pagdasal. Grabe na yung away sa mga madre. Gawin na yung away sa mga uh, kasamahan nila. They were more terrifying manifestation, critical, so no, terrifying manifestation, and this occurred at night. There began disturbed sleep, terrible nightmares, persons walking up in the middle of the night, and seeing black entities and gigantic birds in their rooms. Just imagine, pumasok yung mga malaking mga ibon, nakakita sila ng black entities, at yung nightmares niya, baka naginip nila, puro horror. And then, hindi makatulog ng sapat. Grabe. Ano pa? Uh, mga terrifying manifestation. Knocking, panding, and bagging on the wall. Hallway. The hallway were heard at midnight. One could only imagine the confusion and dread that these sisters faced when night uh, fell. So, grabe. Eh, gabi-gabi. No? Yan ang nangyari dito, mga kapatid. <laughs> so, ikan lang kumbento. They were even more horrifying. So, terrifying manifestation ngayon. Grabe. Nagka-intensify. Horrifying manifestation to come. Growling and scratching sounds were heard at 3 a.m. So, ooh, yung malaki, no? Growling. And scratching sounds. Along the corridors outside the novices' rooms, knocking and ringing the doorbells at night. The doorbells. No, oh, grabe, no? Also occurred without anyone outside the door of the house of the rooms. There were foul odors, a sign of demonic, which had no visible source. Kung walang, walang, wala namang namatay na, ano, wala namang namatay na daga, di ba? Salamat tayo sa bagong star senders natin, si Sister Maria Sermento, number one. Pangalawa, Sister Chiela, 200 stars. At si Mercy Ligan, 100 stars. Si Fel Marias Maghuyop, 100 stars. Salamat po. At si Sister Bernarda Ibar Sabal, 10 stars po. God bless nyo, sa inyo po. Hanin patuloy tayo mga kapatid. Mm-mm. Tuloy pa tayo mga kapatid. Mm-mm. 
Sana yun. <laughs> the manifestation during the day also intensified, not only in the night, but also in the day. Grabe naman ito. No. Many of the sisters saw dark shadows and weird-looking creatures around the formation house, especially in the dark corners of the huge convent and also in the toilets. Grabe. So, hindi lang sa gabi. Hindi sila pinipigilan nito. Dumami na yung demonyo dahil meron sila mga occult practices. Meron sila mga new age practices. It is known that demons had have a pros- propensity to manipulate electricity. It began in the convent electrical appliances turning on and off by themselves even when they were un- unplugged. Grabe, no? Bigla lang on kahit hindi na na plug, di ba? Example, blender, organ, refrigerator, lights. In addition, liquids would suddenly appear on the walls and floors in the formation house. There would also be sudden and radical changes in temperature within the convent. Bibigyan lang na, uh, bibigyan lang uh, iinit, no? Kahit nag-aircon sila. Grabe. Itong manifestation nila. Okay? Many of the novices experienced wind blowing within their enclosed. All windows and doors were closed rooms. Grabe, may hangin. No? <laughs> Grabe. Bigla lang malakas na hangin, di ba? They usually have eerie feelings of being watched when they were all alone. So, parang may, ano, may tumitingin sa atin. <laughs> Dagang salamat pa rin sa dugang kay Balo na mo. Uh, salamat po, Sister Perla. They usually mm, many heard voices without anyone being there. And some of the novices and sisters heard their names being called by an unseen male entity. A few saw doubles or oh, doppelganger of certain Oh, of certain sisters seeing a sister at one place when in reality she is in another place so doppelganger inukopia po yung ano yung kanilang mm, appearance the attacks at night escalated to terrifying proportion of oppression so grabe Dre, ganyan yung bahay namin sa buhol, Dre, si Merti Merci. So, ipadeliberans nyo po yan sa, kung walang tao doon, yung kertiker turuan ninyo, Ate Merci. When night came, the sleeping novices and sisters began to experience invisible sexual assaults. So, i-rape na yung mga madre no? sa kanilang imagination. Touching, molesting, scratching, and biting. So, hindi na po ito natural, no? It is escalating, ng kapatid. Mm. Some novices experience being strangled at night. So, merong sasakal sa kanila. And were released only after they prayed. So, matapos sila mag-pray, ma-release na naman sila. Physical assaults of oppression. So, from op- obsession, uh, na-open yung psychic nila. Ito na po, oppression na po. Uh, physical assault na po ito. Mm, hindi lang sa isang madre, kung dami ng madre, uh, mga novices. Physical assaults of oppression not only occurred during the night, but sometimes also during the day. Such as punching, scratching, biting, hair pulling, etc. From unseen entities, bigla lang sabunutan sila. Bigla lang susuntukin, bigla lang uh, scratch yung kanilang... Uh, mga parte ng katawan. Some novices started to have rashes. No, meron na silang mga sugat. Which no medicine could cure. Hindi na. Op- oppression po ito. Hindi na magamot sa mga doktor. Once one novice's eyes turn totally black. Just imagine. No? <laughs> Grabe ng takot nila. Turn totally black. Yung isang mga isang mata. No? <laughs> ng ano Mm. Turn totally black. This novice had an as- ancestral spirit. Many family generation practice witchcraft. So itong novices na ito, one of the novices ay meron silang uh, angkan na mangkukulam. The novices who were traumatic experiences with the spirits launched on to 
So, kung meron kayong mga traumatic experiences, hindi yan na-process, yan ang doorway ng evil spirit, mga kapatid. Those who had gone many times to faith healer, Abulayos, and those who practice some form of Eastern meditation like yoga po. Na-highlight po ni Father Sigia yung yoga. No, hindi po ito mm, maganda. Wine. A black man was seen walking along the corridors of the convent, which was impassable since no one aside from the sisters lived within the convent walls. As one of the sisters ran after the man, he or we may see it suddenly turn into a creature with wings and went out of the window. So, bilang na lumipad yung lalaki nakita ng mga madre na hinahabol nila. No, bigla lang lumipad. Uh, sudden turn into creature with wings. So, grabe ito. Grabe yung kabana. So, tingnan mo. Kung imagine nyo how uh, horrible the feeling of the sisters in the convent, mga kapatid. They were also the sighting of big dogs no, that could pass through walls. Grabe ha, yung Makikita din nila yung mga malaking, ano, <laughs> can't imagine the situation sa mga nans, amor, uh, tabigi. No, Father Darwin watching from Digo City, maayon tamakaan ni Kaderi sa among dapit. No, in God's time po. <coughs> so, patuloy tayo mga kapatid. So, labas pasok, no, could pass through the walls when they were chased outside in the garden. They were sightings of elementals like dwarfs as well as a white lady. So, mga diwindi. Hmm. The dogs which the sisters kept would also growl and invisible entities many times during the day when normally before they were peaceful and quiet. So, before, they are peaceful and quiet, pero ngayon, maingay na sila. At long last, when nothing seemed to work, the religious community turned to the church. Ito na, panghuli na talaga yung mga exorcist. <laughs> yung anak po na akong sakop sa pamilya, magsigig damgo father, watching from Carmen Agusan, si Ranilo Delfin. So, pag-aralan mo yung prayer ng simbahan, kapatid. Okay? The sisters could not take it anymore. Before they contacted the office, they asked a priest to bless the convent. But because there were already so many spirits present, due to the many occult rituals that were done, the moment he entered the door, the spirits had the power to throw things at him, which made him leave the novitiate immediately. Just imagine yung, yung pare nag-bless, hindi na nakapatuloy. <laughs> Bakit? <laughs> Bakit hindi na siya nakapatuloy? Just imagine, um, uh, binato siya ng mga object. <laughs> Kung natakot din yung pare. Grabe, no? So, magpatuloy pa ba yung dialogue ninyo? Kay baka, yes po, Boss J Moto. Yes, yes. This October, ano po? This October... Uh, October 3 po. When the sisters in the novitiate house finally called the office... Hmm... Archdiocese of Nila, Office of Exorcism for Help. The demonic activity increased all the more. <laughs> tumawag sila sa, tumawag sila ng tulong sa, sa Office of Exorcism. Nag-increase yung, yung acti- demonic activity nila. This is normal since evil spirits would do everything possible to frighten and in a sense threaten so as to block those <coughs> whom they are victimizing from continuing seek help from the church. Like bullies and terrorists, they would tend to use harassment and terror tactics. No. So, yan mga kapatid. So, ngayon, no, dito na, ang simbahan na, nag, ano na, tumutulong ng simbahan sa pamagitan ng ministry. Ito po yung dahilan bakit kailangan si Pope Francis, si Pope Benedict, si Pope John Paul II nag encourage sa mga obis po sa lahat ng mga dioceses po na magtayo talaga ng office of healing, deliverance and exorcism. Mag-appoint ng mga exorcist po. 
marami tayong matutulungan sa mga hinaharas na mga demonyo. Kaya nga, sinishare ko sa inyo yung karanasan namin, yung karanasan ng mga exorcist ng mga kasamahan natin para mamula tayo hmm. sa mga gawain ng ating kaaway. Walang iba yung demonyo po. Okay? Patuloy tayo. The office made the following initial intervention and made the following assignments. So, ito po. Binibigyan nila ng assignment. Interview of everyone regarding the manifestation. Uh, Four-day retreat and similar to prepare for exorcism of the place and person. Mutual forgiveness of one another. Getting rid of the occult objects given to the community and keeping away from all new aids. Dapat ha? Keep away. Hmm... Keeping away from all new age and pagan animist practitioners. Use of the sacramental such as holy and exercise water, holy and exercise salt, holy and exercise oil, the scapular, and the St. Benedict's middle. So, yan ang pinagawa nila. Nagsagawa sila ng apat na araw na retreat para mag-guide yung mga madre dahil hindi na ito basta-basta. Okay? And then... Uh, yung mutual forgiveness of one another at pagkuha uh, sa mga occult objects nila. Okay? Pero sa kurasa inyong dialogue ni Pastor Bacalares, uh, usually 5pm siguro. Okay? Patuloy tayo mga kapatid. Renouncement and confession of all the occult activities, especially the diabolical consecration done by the sisters. Uh, makit done by the scissors dahil uh, ginagawa nila yung padugo ganon no? so kanindot unta father ari pugas art diocese sa Davao magbisa o mag input in God's time po oh, and finally masses for liberation of the place and the protection of all those concerned including their loved ones and possessions so piniprepare po nila yung buong pamilya nila para Magkaisa po. It is a communal effort. It is not a singular effort, by the way. One day of the exorcism, three exorcists and three support volunteers with the necessary charism went to exorcise the place. Firstly, nagmisa sila, celebrated mass for the deliverance of the place and the protection of all those concerned, including loved ones and possessions. So, yung misa talaga ang pinaka-importante, mga kapatid. For all our protection po. The followed and breaking of the pagan consecration like Padugo that was done on the place. Followed with the consecration of the place to God. Next was exorcising then blessing all locations using the different sacramentals for the expulsion of the unclean spirits. So, ginagamit na yung prayer of exorcism mga kapatid. So, yung mga sacramentals. Gamit ng incense, salt, and blessed oil po. Sisters who were victims of greater diabolical psychic attacks were given individual sessions of deliverance. So, yung mga madre na na-open yung mga psychic ability, binibigyan sila ng individual deliverance po. During the exorcism of place, the spirits were more consecrated in the rooms of the sisters. No, Inuuna yung mga kwarto ng mga madre. A novices who had occult family backgrounds or frequently frequented occult practitioners, spiritists, faith healers, fortune tellers, and sorcerers when they were younger. Other areas of demonic consecration were the toilets, places where a lot of electronic gadgets were located, and some of the very old trees outside the formation house, a lot of spirits were discerned where the padugo ceremony took place. So, yan po ang nangyari mga kapatid. Nag-exercise na yung mga exorcist, pumunta na yung team, and then individually, dinilidivance yung mga mga madre na may occult uh, psychic harassment po. During the exorcism, the exorcism team experienced the following. Some of the lay members of the exorcism team experienced being pushed and punched when they were in the most infested areas. So, grabe no? yung kasamahan nila no ay sinuntok no at uh, pinupus <laughs> kung mapunta na sila sa the most infested area mga kapatid they also experience suffocation and difficulty of breathing that prayer of deliverance had to be prayed over to them so hinaharas din yung team 
Uh, dahil bago pa sila si Father Sikia nito. At babasahin natin dahil marami siyang realization dito sa iba ba. Some of the members had sudden intense headaches and stomach aches. One of the cars, the team road broke down. No, oh, grabe. For no apparent reason. Hmm. Grabe. And mechanic later was baffled regarding the breakdown. Sometimes, some members of the exorcism team also had bad dreams the night before. So, inaras na yung team. <laughs> Hindi pa nagsimula. This case was one of the earlier cases today. After years of experience of information, the team experiences only minor harassment during cases of infestation because they have learned how to protect themselves. Mm, how to protect themselves through proper spiritual uh, preparation po. Mm-mm. So, first experience nila ito, maraming hinaharas yung, yung buong team niya. Pero ngayon, sabi ni Father Sikia, dahil uh, sa formation, malaking tulong talaga yung formation. And then, uh, years of experiences and formation, the team experience only minor harassment. Hindi na katulad ng dati. Sinusuntok sila, pinupo sila. Grabe yung head ache, grabe yung stomach ache. Additional assignments were given after the exorcism of the novitiate group therapy to build up relationship in the community. Parang... Ma-reconcile ang buong community. Counseling of those with traumatic sexual and emotional abuse when they were younger experiences. The novice who had an ancestral spirit, many family generation practice witchcraft, was asked to go to intergenerational liberation session. So, hindi to basta-basta may prayer pa for intergenerational uh, session po. Liberation. The group of Amoe returned after a, a few weeks to evaluate and interview each person for evaluation and feedback. So, nagbalik. Effects after the exorcism, some minor retaliation like itchiness two days after the exorcism. But when the novices used the sacramentals like exorcism oil, the retaliations disappeared. So, yan po ang maganda balita po, no? Kaya nga mag-bless uh, ako ng mga sacramentals niyo dahil malaking tulong po yan sa inyo. Okay? The atmosphere became lighter and peaceful. Yan po ang good news, no? Dahil nagkaisa na yung mga madre and then they followed the way of Jesus. Ano nangyari? Atmosphere became lighter and peaceful. For the first time, the community had a meeting without any conflict. Wala nang ba ngayon, no? Nung una, grabe. <laughs> Mm, yung conflict. There was less discord among the members and stronger sense of unity in the community. Grabe na yung unity nila. The entire convent was liberated from all preternatural demonic attacks and manifestation. There was stronger sense of the presence of the Lord. One of the sisters who had a lingering sickness was miraculously healed after exorcism. All glory to God. Then, So, maraming salamat po sa inyo at sana sa sunod na naman uh, i-share ko sa inyo ang maraming mga natutunan natin sa uh, spiritual warfare po. Fight the Maria at the Taxif D with a humble heart.